right, so I started driving and trying to record and that just does not work. So I decided to pull over at this In-N-Out Burger here. So I just wanted to make a real quick video. I saw some crazy crown molding today. It's the worst I've ever seen and it just made me have a lot of thoughts and ideas and I said I need to say this while it's fresh in my mind. So I pulled out the camera, pulled over here and that's where we are now. Now, the video that I'm going to show you right now, I'm going to go ahead and roll that footage over my voice so I can talk about it, okay? This is crown molding and it's installed very badly as you can see. The corners on this crown molding are absolutely insane. And what I want to know is at what point do you decide to keep going at this point? So you're cutting the pieces, you're holding them up. When do you decide it's enough? Well, the only way you get good at something is through practice. And practice comes from doing things over and over and over again. Like they say, practice makes perfect. How does this happen? Like, how does someone walk away from something like this? This is obviously someone who does not know what they're doing. Now, this was done by someone who claimed to be a professional. This was done by someone who was a remodeler, you know, do it your, or not do it yourself, like a jack of all trades kind of person. They, one call does it all, I guess. And if you know anything about me and my beliefs on one call does it all kind of jack of all trades people, I believe that there are few of those guys out there and I'm definitely not one of them. I like to stick to one thing and just specialize in it. And I think that's kind of how you find the best people is just find a specialist. If you're gonna go and get eye surgery, you don't want a one call does it all kind of thing. Now, obviously eye surgery is way more important than the trim on your house, but I think you understand what I'm trying to say. You want a specialist. That's why when it comes to the human body, there's specialists. There's eye doctors, there's brain doctors, there's heart surgeons. And when it comes to your house, there's also specialists. Now there's people who can do all kinds of remodeling, but they're few and far between. So if you find one, just know that that person is rare. If you find someone who's good at everything, just know that you found someone who is rare. Now, I don't know who did this. Even if I did, I wouldn't call their name out because I'm not that kind of person where I feel it's my responsibility to call out this company or individual who did this. It's not going to change the fact. But what I will say is that I have had failures in my career. I'll give you an example. I was doing crown molding in this guy's house and he said, do you do any built-ins or, or cabinets? And I said, not really. I kind of have the tools for it, but I don't really do that. He said, well, I need some, some cabinets in my laundry room. That's why I'm asking. So we agreed to, I agreed to do them. Didn't really know what I was doing. Long story short, I show up with the cabinets and before I even take them off the truck, I go to the guy and I say, I'm sorry I wasted your time, but this is not gonna work. These things are not quality that your house deserves. The stature of your house does not deserve these cabinets. They're really bad. And I drove all the way to his house with the cabinets in the bed of the truck. And it just took me like to realize that that was a hard lesson learned that I can't do it all, at least I couldn't do cabinets at that point. Now at this point in my life, I do feel like I can do some small cabinetry and I have since then. But what I did was I told that guy, I'm not gonna put these in your house and I'm gonna take them home and I'm sorry to waste your time. So he came out to the truck and he looked at him and he was like, oh, I see what you're saying. I was like, yeah, they're, they're not good enough for your house. So here's what I did. I took them home, I got a sledgehammer and I took them apart. I beat, beat them apart and <laughs> unscrewed them and all that and threw it to the curb and said, this was a lesson for me that I can't do it. And the point at which I stopped was when I got to his house because I knew like when I was making them, I was like, this is just not, I just, it's not that I'm not like able to do it. I just hadn't have enough, hadn't had enough practice. So whoever did this crown in, in this footage it's not that they're not able to do it, it's just that they haven't had enough practice. So that's kind of the way I look at it, is that you can do things, but 
don't practice on someone else's house. I'll tell you something else I can't do is like stair builds. Now I'm really interested in stair builds and if you've been watching my channel you know I'm remodeling my house. I have stairs there. Guess whose house I'm going to practice on for stairs? My own. I highly recommend you don't treat anyone's house as a guinea pig for your experimentations. Here's what you need to do. You need to go to not not Home Depot. Please don't go to Home Depot and buy materials. Here's what you need to do. You need to go to a supply house, buy materials, and practice in your garage. Practice, practice, practice. Because the way I see it is the money I spent on those cabinets was like school. It's like I paid to learn a lesson. And the lesson was get better at cabinets or don't even offer them. Because I wasted money wasted labor, wasted time, all that stuff I can't get back. But what I do take away from it is the lesson. So before I do something, now I like to practice it. I like to buy the materials, work on the miters, work on the copes, work on the wainscoting, build samples just in my garage. That is where you're going to perfect yourself and that's where you're actually going to get the confidence to say, yes, I can do this for you. But I'll end the video with this. And this was a parable told to me by one of my customers who actually turned into a really good friend while we were working on his house. And Phil, I know you're watching this video, so thanks man, appreciate this knowledge. But the parable goes like this. There was this carpenter and he was absolutely amazing. His work just spoke for itself. All those fancy words describe his work. And he was a beast. And he worked for this builder and the builder loved having him on. He did great work and they had a really good relationship. And the carpenter was getting ready to retire and the builder was like, I need you to do one more house for me, man. Just one more house. And the carpenter was like, no, I'm, I'm done. I'm out of the game. This is the last house I'm finishing up. And when I'm done with this house, that's it. No more houses. And the builder kind of begged him and was like, no, please, please, I really need you to do this house for me. It'll be your last house and then I won't bother you anymore. But the carpenter insisted, no, I'm, I'm done. This is it. So they went back and forth, back and forth. Finally, the builder convinced the carpenter to go ahead and do this last house. But he didn't have a good attitude about it and he kind of did everything mediocre, not up to his typical standards of high quality and extraordinary work. You know, he kind of just didn't really care if the miters matched up. He didn't really care about getting tight copes in the corners. He didn't really have a good attitude. Kind of the attitude that says a little bit of caulking, a little bit of paint makes me the carpenter I ain't. I know you guys have heard that. Or do your best caulk the rest mentality. So he had this attitude and he trimmed out the whole house and was just like, I'm ready to get out of here. I'm ready to retire. I'm ready to go, go home. And at the end of it, the builder came up to the carpenter and handed them the keys and said, this is a gift from us to you. We wanted to gift you this house, but we wanted you to trim it out because we know how good your stuff is. And that had to hurt. I think the lesson is pretty clear. Treat every house as if it was your own because you're going to have to live with it and don't leave people with mediocre and really bad results. So anyways, thanks so much for watching this video. If you want me to do more rants like this, let me know down in the comments. I usually try to keep my videos related to action and job site videos, but if you guys enjoyed this, definitely let me know and I'll throw up some more rants like this. So anyways, I'll see y'all in the next video. Take care.